Hi guys, in this video, we're going to build a Python function which is able to calculate the age of an individual. Uh, in most cases, if you have a database of individuals, you typically don't insert the age of that individual because that age changes with every year. So what you typically have is you insert the birth date and age gets calculated in, in another program or it can even be calculated in the, in the database itself. Now here in this, in this video we're going to build together, we're going to build a, a Python function able to take a birth date and output the age of that person. So I just built up a, a function called calculate age. It takes one input. I've put some documentation here and that's the way I would advise you to build a function. First of all, uh, just define what does the function do. In this case, I, it calculates the age of individual. The input birth date must be a dictionary and this dictionary must have the following keys and I explained also what each keys what each key means and even cited an, a sample uh, birth date or sample format a way of providing the birth date then a uh, function outputs a dictionary with the following outputs we have not yet built anything so I just have this is the dictionary the, the, the dictionary uh, for the outputs and it just has one key now test and just has test text and the function returns that dictionary uh, in a previous video I uh, I suggested that if you want to render your functions extremely flexible make your function inputs and outputs to dictionaries and that would give you a very flexible um, yeah input and output system so I just that is the general documentation for the function and then what I did I just went through the process this function has to undergo for it to provide the age and I put it in comments here in, in one line comments first of all I'd have to parse today i.e. the current date into day month and year now let's start off with that bit let's let's let, let's oh, oh first of all hold on a second first of all let's save that and let's see if the function right now the way it is if the way it stands does that work so let's have it run and yes it does I have my birth date that's a dictionary and I have these inputs and I am calling the uh, my age is a variable and I'm calling the function with my birth date and I'm printing my age my age is uh, what what uh, what the function returns is a dictionary and right now that dictionary has just one key uh, one one key uh, one key value pairing the key is test and the value is test text and that's exactly what I'm going so right now the function is working perfectly albeit not delivering anything useful right now let's start with that first thing first thing is I need to get today's date and parse that into day month and year why because I need the month because if today's month is after the birth month well then that guy's per, uh, birthday is passed and the guy got older this year so that's one type of calculation if the month of birth is right now I mean right now we have March and if the month of birth is March well then we have got to we have got to see uh, oh depends uh, then we've got to see what day was he born in March yeah I mean right now we have the 28th of March so was the guy born before the 28th then he's or, or, or on the 28th well then the guy got older today or previously if the guy's date is in March, but after today's date, well, then the guy still not hasn't got older this year, but still the age of last year. And otherwise, if 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 month of birth is still in future, let's say he's born in May, then the guy hasn't got older since last year. So this is basically, uh, if you wish, the algorithm or the or the process that that function should undergo. And I find it very useful to elaborate in detail the process you wish your function to undergo in comments that clarifies your thinking and 
speeds up the whole development process because now for each individual comment you just you know give it some space and then here we can start inserting some code <clears throat> so first of all to get today's date i need a i need a i need a module called date time and from that i need a, a class called date and the way it goes is like from date time import date and now required is to get the current uh, date and uh, the current uh, um, today's day month and year let's start out with today's day let's say current day would be well date that's not that's a that's a class we we we, we imported then it is today that's a function and we don't need all of today but just the day of today okay and let's see if we got it right let's just add to our function inputs <clears throat> uh, current day current day and that would be that current day right okay save it have we got it right f5 and here we go there we go that is still okay current day is the 28th so we got that right so now i can just follow the same procedure for a month and year so i got i inserted now current month and year and over here as well now let's test it does it run and yes it does so we see the current day is 28 current month is three basically march and the current year is 2020 so we got that right now uh, another thing is because we've got a flexible dictionary here why not also insert <coughs> the the inputs that we got so uh, that would uh, just follow the same way let's uh, let's have some more or oh, let, let me just type that so function function outputs uh, then let's create a new key which is basically birth and you see how flexible it is using a dictionary as an output i can just add as many outputs as i want and um, so that would be the input the input is birth date birth date and of that input i'm just interested in one key which is basically the day okay great so birth date day is birth date of the input day save that let's check it out and birthday day is the 22nd that's right so i can I just apply the same logic now for um, for month and year of the input and voila there we have it and now let's save it run it again <clears throat> and now our function is still working properly i've got the it's producing the birth date basically reflecting the input and giving out today's today's um, today's date uh, day month and year right so that first section is done now i can come to next section if today's month is after uh, and how do i go about that let's do some returns <clears throat> right well i can start off like that if uh current month is greater than birth date oops birth date month then something happens what 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 is then then output age and now here i forgot something I advise you always this is a new variable here the best thing is when you got a new variable just initialize it somewhere so let me put here I'll put age is zero oops is zero so I've initialized that thing so now what is output age if current month is bigger than the birth date well it is then the current year which we got here minus birth date oops year 
Okay? So, what happens here, if today's month is after birth month, that's what we said here, if current month is greater than birth month, then birthday passed, i.e. individual got older this year, so we can basically subtract uh, this guy's birth date, yeah, birth year, from the current year. Now, there's a slight thing here which I don't like. Uh, these, these variables, they could be any type. They could be text, whatever. I'm not so sure, and I don't want. I don't want to. I don't. I'm not so sure if that subtraction also uh, works because these inputs or these variables could be text or any other type. They might look like numbers, but they could be of type text. So what I would do is like if not current, but like int. I convert them all to integers, and then I'm sure that I'm working with integers here and not anything else because if you if you have let's say here a plus and you're and you have like strings you would be concatenating instead of adding so that's why and that's why i put out a, a output h to zero and not uh, something like that because that would be as oops that would be a string and that's not what i want right so and the same thing here uh int and int and int so i just converting all that stuff to ints right great save that so now we've got the first section here and let's add another key just to test our age so output age is output age right save it now when is our birthday our birthday is beyond uh, it's already passed so it already fits this current month is bigger than uh, oh no it doesn't fit it uh, because we are our birthday is in March let's let's change that to let's say January so now we should fulfill this condition and if I run that, uh, my output age would be 32. Is that right? We got 2020 minus 88. Yep, it's 32. Great. And so I've got the, the first condition is working perfectly. Now, right. Now, what happens out of interest? What happens if I change that to April? Now, this date... This kind of birth date is not catered for here because we're only catering right now for months which already passed, which are already in the past. What happens? Save it, run it. I should get an error. And yeah, age is zero because age has not, not ha nothing happened to age. Age was put to zero. And now uh, this only applies to if, 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 the, if the birthday, if the birth date's month is in the past. And in this case, it isn't, so nothing happened. Right, let's put it back to March, to the original uh, birth date month, save it. So, so we got the first section now. The next section, if month of birth is right now in current month, age depends on the day we got, right? So let's take that a step further. Let's insert a code in here. So right now, the code would be like this. Elif, which is made, basically means else if, because I know there's a further else down there at the end. So that's why I know the else is not going to be here. This is only a, 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 another if, and that's why I use else if. If int current month is equal to int birthday month, and remember, if you're new to Python or to programming, this is equal using double equals one one equal is always defining for instance here i'm defining current date to to this whereas here this is equality right now what happens here if uh, um, current month is exactly the same as the birthday month a, a situation we got right now the guy is born in march what happens well then the next question is is day of birth today or is it already passed and then we decide so let's take that further up and let's put some returns down here 
So how do we how do we how do we get that? Well, basically the same scenario. In this case, let me just insert a code. Well, in this case it is int current day. Is it greater or equal to int the day of day of birth? If yes, well it's basically the same calculations over here. So I can just can copy that and put it in here. Okay, now, so that means if today is equal to the date of birth or it's already, or date of birth is already passed, then this guy's gotten older this year. Otherwise, this is otherwise the age is still that of last year, which is basically the same calculation else well, uh, it's the same calculation but minus one because we're subtracting last year from birthday right so we covered this one now anything else would be the age of last year so here comes the ultimate else and then we would have we would have this case so now, based on the comments I've done previously, I just build the application and the logic follows the comments I've put in. And now we can just test our uh, code. So I just saved it, let me run. And yep, I got like, the guy's born in March, 22nd of March, he's become 32. Let's make him 30th of March, which is like in the future. The birth, the, in this case, the day, the day of birth is in the future. Save. And now he's 31. So that part here works. Uh, if I put him 30th of June, which is way in the future, and run, it's still 31. And if I put him on the 30th of uh, January, save, then he's already 32 because his birthday is passed. And let's play around with March. Today after 28th, you can see it here, uh, here, current day is 28th. So if I do 27, he already had his birthday, so he should be 32, 28th. He's having his birthday today, so he's also 32, right? And 29, which is tomorrow, tomorrow would be his birthday. So today he's still 31 and that works. And here we have a uh, nice age calculator. And the beauty of having that uh, dictionary as output, you can see all data, input and outputs and in between steps in one go. And obviously, if you just need the age itself and nothing else, just print my age and then index the key of that thing. And that would be output age, close and save it. And let's run it. And now, oh, have I just, oh, have I, oh yeah, I, I misspelled that. So, got it. Now it should work. And run. Yeah, and I got 31, which is basically because his birthday is in the future. If we go put the old birthday again and run it again, I would just have his age. And that is in a nutshell, the way you build a function in Python, basically document it. And obviously now all I got to do here is document those, uh, those uh, keys. Let me just finish that off. And I just put birthday, the, uh, these would be the inputs, the, the outputs, sorry. And see that's how, you, how, how easily you can do it. Just copy your dictionary, your output dictionary, and you'd have a nice documentation. Obviously, any further key 
um, key value pairings you just need to add them up and there you go so now we have a nice well documented function uh, telling you all what is what is what is what what it needs and inputs and outputs every step of the logic is documented with a, with a uh, comment then you've got the outputs and then you've got your test cases and the whole thing works nicely and obviously this is now basically a version zero of that of that function anybody could um, develop that function to take i don't know maybe other out uh, mother maybe other inputs like json or anything else uh, the nice thing about such an input this is also a design thing that one has to think about um, if you take a date like like this um, what is that is that the month or the day you know it depends on on, on which country you come from uh, what about the century? What about if I put it like this? Uh, is that 1912 or 2012? So always when you design your functions, also design the kind of inputs you need to have them as clear as possible. Here with, with such an input, there is no way you can confuse anything with something else. Alright, I hope you liked that video. If you got any suggestions or comments, just use the comment section below. And I'll see you in the next video.